Okay. Hi, assalamualaikum guys. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Anwar. Uh, I was a student in uh, UUM PIS uh, at Tranadaya in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, so today I want to share you something. Uh, actually, I have a task uh, that my lecture give to me and my friends. Uh, so my lecture asked me and my friend to do a vlog about anything. So as a frontliner, I want to share you about a COVID-19. So okay guys, uh, we continue. That on 16 March 2020, uh, that Malaysian Prime Minister Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin uh, has been uh, update uh, special measures on COVID-19. Uh, that was a pandemic that has caused uh, great distress, not just uh, in Malaysia but also throughout the world. So the government take uh, this current trend very seriously, especially uh, the rise of the second wave uh, of a new infection. So the current uh, scenario requires a uh, drastic uh, measure uh, to be taken uh, to resolve uh, the situation as soon as possible. Uh, to, the, uh, to that end, the government has decided to implement a nationwide uh, restriction a movement uh, order beginning uh, on 18 March uh, until 31st uh, March. So this order uh, is a uh, enforced under the control and prevention of infectious disease acts uh, 1988 and the police act 1967 and uh, encompasses the following so the first one uh, okay uh, first uh, completely restriction of movement and assembly nationwide including uh, religious uh, activities uh, sports uh, social cultural events uh, to enforce this restriction, all houses uh, of worship and uh, business premises are to be closed. So, uh, except uh, supermarket, uh, public market, and sundry shop and uh, convenience store selling essential goods. Uh, specifically, uh, for Muslim, uh, the suspension of religious activities in mosque, in mosque uh, and surau, uh, including the Friday prayers. Uh, is the line with a uh, decision of the special Buzataroh committee that convened on the 15th of March 2020. So uh, for the second, uh, completely travel restriction for all Malaysian going to overseas. So uh, uh, Malaysian uh, people cannot go in uh, tourists uh, in other country. Uh, but uh, if uh, Malaysian uh, want to come to hope uh, they can uh, can go into uh, Malaysian state lah. so complete, uh, completely restriction for foreigner visitor and tourists into Malaysia uh, closure of all kindergarten public and private school uh, closure of uh, all public and private institu institution of higher learning uh, closure of all government and private premise except those involved in essential service so uh, that was a list that the government gave to uh, us and I want to share uh, to share to our netizen so and this uh, I want to show my part that uh, what uh, about my task uh, in COVID-19 as a frontliner so as a secretary COVID-19 I want to show you behind the scene of COVID-19 in uh, IPD Sha'alam. Let's go guys. <laughs> Okay guys, uh, I want to show uh, one of our operational room for COVID-19 uh, that we call uh, as a full manning COVID-19. Hello sir. Hello. How are you? How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you. Okay. Okay sir, uh, I want to ask you something uh, about uh, your... Uh, sorry, sorry, this is my one of our officers in charge, uh, person in charge in a uh, full manning room for COVID-19. So... 
he was a assistant controller yes assistant controller for covid-19 so sir can you tell me about uh, what is your task in full manning uh, well uh, I, as a assistant controller my task is i come up with all this uh, problem uh, from the uh, covid-19 you know so i put uh, uh, all the problems and all the details and i just put it uh, inside my uh, uh, my file and i will get it uh, from my orderly we have orderly and i got uh, diaries so I got the uh, suit track officer and also the photo officer. Okay, so thank you for your information. So can can I ask you uh, what uh, for this uh, whiteboard? Eh? What is plain? Uh, actually, uh, we put this uh, to be more I mean, uh, easy for us eh, to look at uh, what uh, uh, people will ask us about uh, the amount of uh, the combi, you know, in Shalom, how many uh, was involved in the combi. So okay, the sir. detail is here. All right. Just put it here. And this is the manpower from uh, to the IPD Shalom. Instead of our police officer, we have also the uh, Navy and also the Army. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. All right, sir. Okay, thank you, sir, for your uh, cooperation. Okay, okay. Thank, you. thank you. Hi, Che. Assalamualaikum. And hi. Uh, actually, I just uh, finished my task already as a secretary uh, COVID-19 and I just make a video uh, for our assignment uh, for vlog so I hope uh, you can send and you can show your task to me and I will compile uh, our video and uh, we can show to our lecture okay bye Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Manasseh uh, My metric number is 259621 Okay uh, I have been told by uh, Magno uh, He told me to make a simple video uh, That he will combine and compile For completing our Our Assignment or uh, vlog that that was given by Madam Hybe. Okay, uh, firstly, I want to say I want to say thanks to Manu because be one of our frontliner. He was working at IPD Shalam as a operator in District Control Center. Okay, uh, District Control Center is a uh, most important uh, element in uh, police organization uh, that is because uh, from the uh, from there uh, we as a uh, enforcement can get uh, orders and uh, a lot of uh, information that you can use when you're doing uh, enforcement okay uh, I was working as an enforcement during the MCO, uh, during the movement control order. Uh, my task is we deliver some advice and, uh, and arresting people who, who is obeying it, who is still obeying the laws. We act to arresting people using section uh, 269 in the uh, Malaysian uh, pen, uh, Penal Code. We arrested the people when we believe they are does, doesn't have a good reason during the MCO. Uh, this is because Whoever unlawfully or negligently uh, does any act which is and which he know or has reason to be likely to spread the infection of any disease dangerous to life uh, shall be punished, punished with imprisonment 
for a term which may extend to six months or five of COVID boots. Anyway, our ex is still based on the what we call it uh, as a policeman. You must have a good discretion. Discretion in the enforcement is a very, a very most important, uh, important things because when you want to react or act using the any any act any act, act in uh, our uh, in Malaysian law. You must base base it on the uh, base it on this discretion. For your discretion, uh, for your discretion, you can do in, uh, can do a more better job and successfully. Because after the we arrested, we will go to the court. To have a, or you can have a bicara. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, and that is some information that can I share with you all. Perhaps the pandemic will over soon because it's very hard and. It's so it's so hard for everyone because the pandemic of the COVID nineteen. Okay, uh, don't forget as a Muslim, keeps praying to Allah to getting the help, to getting the help. We as a frontliner, we still fighting this thing until the end, but we must together. Fighting it. Lastly, people. Lastly, 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 they stay at home. They stay at home. Let us stay for you. Thanks, Manu, and all the frontline. Wabillahi taufiq wa taala. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.